Hey there, I'm Alex Kidman, and this is the Belkin Boost Charge Pro 140 watt four port GAN wall charger. Let's get into the review. So with a lot of gadgets to charge these days, it can be kind of hard keeping track of which gadget will charge from which source. And the Belkin 4-port GAN charger is designed to tackle that with, well, four ports of charging. But you might be thinking to yourself, well, okay, I understand what a charger is. What's a GAN charger? Well, a GAN charger is one of two things. Either it's this guy preloading with drinks before he goes to the pub, or it's a charger using gallium nitride. And the advantage there is that typically you can make smaller and more powerful chargers, but this is not a small charger by any stretch of the imagination. Measuring in at 75.2 by 30.8 by 95 millimeters and weighing around 341 grams, this is a big, hefty charging block, really, compared to most GAN chargers. Compared to your regular everyday charger, maybe not so bad, but this is a big lad by GAN standards. Obviously, in design terms, it's a very plain white charging block. I suspect, like most white gadgets, over time, this thing is not necessarily going to look that schmick. It's going to end up with scrapes and marks and a bit of grime on it. But it's a charger. Who really cares? I, I'm not sure that that's a huge concern, although it might be a bit nicer in black. Aside from the charger itself, you also get this drawstring bag for portability, and it also has a number of international plug adapters in it. Now, often here in Australia, when we get gadgets and they've got a whole bunch of plug heads in it, it's basically because the companies don't want to produce a separate Australian box version, so they just chuck all the adapters in here. The presence of the drawstring bag does suggest that Belkin's more thinking, well, you might use this one for travel. And I take the point, except that the drawstring bag, it's just not that big. And you'll basically get a charger in there, and I'm doing this a very bad job in front of camera, but you'll basically get a charger with a plug in there and maybe one other. All four plus the charging plug, that's a bit of a tougher call. Drawstring bag could have been a little bit bigger, but it's a nice enough inclusion, I guess. The inclusion of the charging plug heads is a nice thing to see. What you don't get in the box are any actual charging cables. And that can come into play depending on what you're charging it with. The challenge there is that some, especially high power power delivery devices, don't like not having quite the right cable to play with in order to charge at maximum speeds. Typically, you will get a charge from them, but you might not get everything that you think you will if you don't have the right kind of USB-C to USB-C cable. In performance terms, Belkin rates the three USB-C ports and the single USB-A port on the Belkin Boost Charge Pro 140 watt four port GAN wall charger slightly differently. The top port is rated for 140 watts maximum charge rate. The two USB-C ports beneath them run to a maximum of 65 watts each. And the USB-A port is a far more sedate 12 watts. The critical detail here is that the maximum absolute throughput is 140 watts, no matter which way you slice it, which means you can spread it out over four gadgets, or if you've got a particularly power-hungry gadget, you can charge just it. But if you added other gadgets in, you're going to reduce the draw that it's able to take. At its asking price, it's kind of hard to see the Belkin Boost Charge Pro making sense as a good option unless you're charging a relatively demanding USB-C charge-capable laptop with it on a regular basis. If you're just powering up smartphones or smartwatches or the like, it's kind of overkill. But it's glorious overkill, however. And as long as you do have compliant cables, and bear in mind, most USB-C cables don't typically advertise their maximum load characteristics. And I have been caught out with this while I've been testing this. I've plugged things in, thought, oh yeah, that'll charge. And then the laptop in question says, oh, I'm charging slowly. Maybe use a faster charger. So you may have to carefully label your cables or just remember which cable is which in order to make the most out of it. It's a charger. There's not too much more I can say about it. I've certainly used it over a number of weeks and charged it for a long period of time without it running particularly hot, without particularly having problems with it at all. This is a nice gadget for its target market. But here's the kicker. You absolutely can get cheaper and smaller GAN chargers. And if all you need is small and simple, the Belkin Boost Charge Pro 140 watt is really overkill, especially at its typical 189.95 Australian asking price. This really is a specific charger tool for specific circumstances. If you're after a charger for your laptop that can also keep your phone, smartwatch and other gadgets happy with power from a single plug with some capability for travel, as long as you can accommodate its bulk, 
it's a decent, albeit not inexpensive option.